Let's take a look at the Bulldog pipe mounted swivel jack. This one's gonna have a lift capacity of 2,000 pounds and a static capacity of 3,000 pounds. The difference between lift and static is if we have 2,000 pounds on the trailer, we're gonna be able to crank it up with that weight on there. But if it exceeds that 2,000 pounds, we're not gonna be able to crank it up. That's just gonna protect the internal gears. With the Bulldog, there is two things we're gonna need. It does not come with this foot plate, so you can either get a wheeled foot plate, which I think is pretty neat, or you can just get a normal foot plate. You can find those on our website. And another thing that it doesn't come with is the piece to weld onto your trailer. So if you have one already on your trailer, there's gonna be two different sizes and it's gonna work for both. You can either go with the smaller one, which is the one we're using now. So this will kind of slide over this one, or you can have the bigger one, which it'll slide into. But notice on both of them, the holes are gonna be closer to one side than the other. The bigger gap is gonna be the side that goes to your trailer. When you weld this up, make sure it's nice and clean and use a, an experienced welder because if the welds are nice and sloppy and huge, we have found that with the smaller ones, since it goes around, it does tend to not line up with the holes. So be pretty, be pretty safe whenever you weld this on. Just use the right amount of gauge on your sticks if you're using a stick welder, just to make sure the welds aren't too big. Notice our inner tube. It is a two inch diameter tube and it has a nice zinc coated on it. So this is a kind of looks cool, but it's also going to resist against rust and corrosion. And we are going to have a coating on the larger tube, which is about two and a quarter inches. This is a side wind jack. What that means is the handle is on the side. You can also get one that goes on top, but the side's going to be nice because you can go around like this instead of having to go around like that. So this is gonna be better when you don't have a hole, when you have a lot going on on the A-frame of your trailer. And the radius of this can be about five and three quarters of an inch. The end right here is plastic, but it does move with it. So it's not gonna be rotating in your hand whenever you are cranking it up and down. And right below it, you can see we have a little grease cirque. So some of these jacks come with or you can have a replacement part when the gears go out. But with this grease circ, we can maintain the gears on the inside and make sure they're nice and lubed up. So they're gonna last a long time. I like having the grease circ on there because I like to maintenance a lot of my equipment. And with this, it's gonna last a pretty long time. When it's completely retracted from the center of our mounting pipe down to the bottom, it's gonna be about seven and three quarters of an inch. But then when it's all the way out, it's gonna give us about 17 and three quarters of an inch, which is a total of 10 inches of travel. We're gonna have a little pin right here. Pull this out. It is connected, which I do appreciate that because I lose things all the time. And it's a 5 8 diameter pin. It goes in there. So this is what it's gonna look like whenever we are running the trailer wherever we need to run it. So the overall length with this one, it is a pretty compact size. It's about 17 inches when it's completely retracted without a foot plate or anything on it. So that is gonna be useful when you're welding on your little piece. So depending on what you got going on in your trailer, whether you got a breakaway switch on one side or a junction box on the other, we can put them on either side, but placing it in the right position is gonna be crucial just so it doesn't hit our coupler or get too close to the vehicle when we get really close, but also just the other components you may have on your trailer. I've worked with all the jacks on our website and there are only a couple different options when it comes to jacks that have the option to have a different type of plate on there. So you can either get the flat plate or you can get a wheel. So with all the pipe mounted jacks, all of them aren't gonna have the option for a wheel besides this one and a couple others on our site. So if you like the idea of a wheel and you need to have a pipe mounted jack, this is gonna be the one you're gonna go with. But all in all, they all do the same thing. This one just does a little bit more because of the foot plate option. But again, this is one that doesn't come with it and it also doesn't come with the pipe mount as well. So take it or leave it. But if that kind of intrigues you and it's gonna work with your system, I think it's gonna be a great option for you. And again, this was the Bulldog pipe mounted swivel jack. And I'm Adam with E-Trailer.